That's the Broadwind skipper. Oh, that's what it is, yeah. Skippers are very difficult. Very warm welcome here at the Meadowlands. Meadowlands is right near Manhattan. It's still New Jersey. This is the Bergen County Audubon Society. And we're here to protect and promote the wildlife. Anyone who knows New Jersey driving, it's so congested with the airports and the uh, tunnels and everything but we made it here at the Meadowlands and it's absolutely a beautiful day sizzling hot and here we are there's ways to protect your natural habitat and create a beautiful environment and a healthy one too so that the butterflies will come by doing that you plant some milkweed and there's all different types of milkweed I'm not a butterfly expert I'm not claiming to be but I am trying to enrich and learn and educate myself because there's so many beautiful butterflies. Most of the most butterfly species are about a half inch. So we're always looking for the big monarchs, the big swallowtails, but most are about a half inch. And that's a skipper species, and that's a big skipper. Most get smaller than that. And that's a silver spotted skipper. We are so fortunate to be here and to come across these beautiful butterflies and bumblebees and the birds and they don't really like the heat so much the butterflies especially in particular they kind of hide if it gets too hot um, like us it's uncomfortable sometimes and everything but you know just to get out in these uncertain and trying times and it's very challenging even to wear a mask is not always convenient, but it needs to be done because we need insects to survive, just like we need people and humanity to connect and stick together and get through the toughest of times and the hardships we have. And so we look, there's um, Newark Airport, Air airplanes are gonna fly through, but uh, we look through nature to console us. <laughs> I'm just saying that nature really does, you know, have such great benefits. In so many ways, it benefits us. Nature is beneficial to helping our moods. Um, it's healthy, gives us exercise, getting fresh air, and, you know, keeping each other safe while keeping ourselves safe. Because in these times, we look for nature to console us and it's a great medicine. So I welcome everyone to come on out and when you're not around people, take off the masks and breathe in the fresh air. But when you are around people, protect each other. Just like we wanna protect the beautiful nature and these beautiful species that are becoming endangered and everything else, the beautiful wildlife and the flowers and the plants. So do your job, be diligent, be prudent and follow the safety measures while also getting out and, and enjoying life and enjoying each other.
sunflower, cut leaf coneflower, mm -hmm. liatris, even in a small section. Just a little few of those flowers is just a great addition to really help the butterflies and pollinators. And if you can, plant three at a time. They make a better impact. Yeah, the butterflies could find them easier, see them easier. So in the rear, the small yellow is the three at a time. That's a false sunflower. <laughs> mystical butterfly <laughs> garden. It's, it's really bringing out the best. It's like very soulful feeling, tranquil, and it's got its beautiful flowers. These are native plants and they're ironweed plants. And they're such a great source of nectar for the butterflies and all of the pollinators, bumblebees and everything. And you see that they come, they really love it. They just, they live off of it, right? So we need the insects, we depend on them. So try to do, get involved in your community. I'm gonna get stung if I don't get out of here. <laughs> I love being here, just like sweating. It's a really hot day and um, I'm sure it's also hot for the butterflies, but you can see some of them uh, hiding around. But it's really beautiful. I mean, look at these bees and beautiful flowers around. And that's nature for you, really. It really does a body good. So many benefits, just for the mind, for the soul, for the spirit, for you. Get out there. I encourage all of you. take a stand and unite one love and stick together and talk to your local governors do whatever you can do to get involved to use that voice of yours to change issues that you want we need a positive change okay we need a positive change on all fronts again with the plane <laughs> but we really need to work hard together so even on your own to become involved could help your natural resources, help your natural resources around and do everything you can to plant native plants and help your communities and get involved. And pollinators are out, they love sweet nectar juices, so if you, you do that, they will come, okay? Remember that, that um, movie, Field of Dreams, if you build it, they will come same metaphor talking on same principles if you build it everything will start to come you need to grow things to nurture and to blossom so right here where i'm standing is new york ironweed plants these are native and these provide so much good nutrients and nectar sources for all the pollinators and it's so great because they are out and they are just you see them all around me I mean there's bumblebees to all different butterflies and it's just a beautiful place and if you come into gardens like this you just so much appreciate life and you want to give back because we live in times trying times that are that have these high expectations these uber expectations in life where we have to have so many responsibilities every day right so why not just like plant a garden outside in your own backyard or tell your friends or get some milkweed and plant some native plants find out what's around your communities and what's in your backyard so that we can really take care of the beautiful nature because it's taken good care of us and we need it to survive so now in these times these coronavirus covid 19 times 
where there's this disease pandemic all over the world, maybe we could start to give back, not maybe, but we should. We need to give back to, to life, beautiful life, and come out and take a stand together and really make positive change. And that's, that's the whole gist of this video is making positive change and doing good for the world and for each other and do it for you. If not for you, do it for your children, do it for the grandparents, do it for your ancestors, do it for people. <laughs>